What led to the rift between Serbia and Austro-Hungary? The murder of Franz Ferdinand is always stated as the reason why World War I started. Things between Serbia and Austro-Hungary were bad for a long time. Let's start from the beginning. Ottoman Empire controlled the Balkans until 19th century. Balkan nations rebelled against Ottomans. Gradually, each country was given independence. In 1878, the Congress in Berlin reshaped the Balkans. The Congress was a series of diplomatic meetings following the Russo-Turkish War of 1877-1878. As a result of the Berlin Congress, Serbia got full independence. There were many other things that happened on the Congress. What matters is that Bosnia was occupied by Austro-Hungary. Legally speaking, Bosnia was still part of Ottoman Empire. But in reality, Austro-Hungary had all control over Bosnia. Serbia wasn't happy about this. Significant number of Bosnian population were ethnic Serbs. Serbs from Serbia felt they needed to liberate their brothers. Turks agreed to the Austro-Hungarian occupation of Bosnia. Serbia could do nothing about it. In 1903, Serbian King Alexander Obrenović was assassinated. The Obrenović dynasty was friendly with Austro-Hungary. Previous Serb king Milan was close to Emperor Franz Joseph. The new dynasty on the Serbian throne was Karadjordjevic. They were close to French and Russians. The Austro-Hungary wasn't happy about this. Relations between Serbia and Austro-Hungary deteriorated. Next came the Pig War, or Customs War, that lasted from 1906 till 1908. This was an actual war. No one was killed. This was a trade war. The Austro-Hungary imposed a customs blockade on Serbian pork. Serb main export was pork. One could say Serb economy depended on the pork. Why did Austro-Hungary start trade war? Serbia began to import French munitions instead of the Austro-Hungarian munitions. Serbia won the trade war. The Austro-Hungary had to lift the blockade. The trade war was all about whose economy suffered more. Serbian economy was hurt, but Austro-Hungary had it worse. In October 1908 erupted the annexation crisis, or the Bosnian crisis. The Austro-Hungary announced annexation of Bosnia. Legally speaking, now Bosnia was part of the Austro-Hungary Empire. Serbia really didn't like this. In April 1909, the Treaty of Berlin solved the crisis. The Austro-Hungary got Bosnia. Serbia demanded that the annexation be reversed. The Austro-Hungary agreed to pay off Turks. Malicious person might say Turks sold Bosnia to Austro-Hungary. Ottoman Empire was falling apart. In 1912, Balkan nations formed alliance and went to the war against Ottoman Empire. This was First Balkan War. Second Balkan War followed in 1913. Serbia was on the winning side in both wars. Serbia expanded its borders. The Austro-Hungary felt Serbia was becoming too strong. One idea was that Austro-Hungary should attack Serbia. Some historians believe the war between Austro-Hungary and Serbia was imminent. The war would start even without the killing of Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand disliked Serbs. 
If he became emperor one day, Franz Ferdinand might have attacked Serbia. Franz Ferdinand decided to visit Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia. He chose absolutely the worst date possible. The 28th of June is sacred for Serbs. On 28th June 1389, Kosovo battle was fought. Serbs idolized the martyrdom of Prince Lazar and his men. Serbs believed Franz Ferdinand was mocking them with his chosen date. Did Franz Ferdinand know what he was doing? Was he being provocative on purpose? The Kosovo battle legacy was well known in this part of Europe. In 1889, Serbia had huge state celebration marking 500 years since the battle. In 1889, Serbia established 28th June as national holiday. It was decided to celebrate all fallen Serb warriors on that day. No matter when they gave their lives for Serbia, the fallen will be remembered on 28th June. Coming to Sarajevo on 28th June was like kicking hornet's nest. Not smart decision. In fact, organization Jak Bosnia was planning the assassination of Oskar Pocerek, the governor of Bosnia. They changed their mind only when they heard Franz Ferdinand was coming to Sarajevo on 28th June. The members of Young Bosnia saw 28th June as symbolic. Then there was the Pan-Slavism. Pan-Slavism was a movement to liberate and unify Slavic peoples. Austro-Hungary had many Slavs within their borders. Austro-Hungary feared Pan-Slavism. Serbia could help Slavs to rebel against Austro-Hungary. Austro-Hungary would want to destroy the seed of Pan-Slavism. Defeating Serbia would send a message to all Slavs living in Austro-Hungary. Crushing Serbia would establish Austro-Hungary as European powerhouse. Austro-Hungary saw weakening of Ottoman Empire. Austro-Hungary didn't want to end like that. Austro-Hungary and Ottoman Empire shared the vision of the world. Neither wanted independent Balkan countries. Because of this, Austro-Hungary helped Ottoman Empire during First Balkan War. Since Ottomans lost the war, this meant Austro-Hungary bet on the wrong horse. Habsburg Empire often went to the war against Ottomans in the past. In 1912, Habsburgs were ready to forget the past and work with Ottomans. This shows how desperate Austro-Hungary was. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand was just the final push Austro-Hungary needed. In July 1914, Austro-Hungary was ready for the war. Was Serbia ready for the war? Serbia lost many soldiers in the First and Second Balkan Wars in 1912 and 1913. One theory says Serbia would want to avoid another war so soon. Serbia would want to postpone war with Austro-Hungary for a decade or two. Then why did Black Hand got involved with the assassination of Franz Ferdinand? This is a very good question. Members of the Black Hand were officers in Serbian army. Would they want another war? They might have wanted another crisis. The fact is the Black Hand members were killed in World War I. Black Hand organization was destroyed. Austro-Hungarian upper class was militaristic. Franz Joseph always posed for pictures in uniform and with medals. Going to war would be appealing for Austro-Hungarian elite. If Austro-Hungary wanted expansion, Serbia would be their target. By annexing Bosnia, Austro-Hungary proved they wanted expansion. Plus, there is problem with Franz Joseph's titles. He had a long list of titles. Did he want to add the title of King of Serbia? Habsburg monarchs already held such title. 
In 1718, Habsburg Empire got parts of Ottoman Empire. They established Kingdom of Serbia. The kingdom existed until 1739. Habsburgs were forced to return the land to Ottomans. This created the idea that Serbian crown belonged to Habsburgs. In 1914, Karadjordjic dynasty was not well established. They had no family connections with most European royals. They were also ostracized after the assassination of the last Dobrenovic. Removing Karadjordjic dynasty wouldn't be a problem. I would say causes for World War I were like a giant puzzle and the killing of Franz Ferdinand was the final piece.